is the Pepsi generation? Just about everyone with the young view of things. Active, livelier people with a liking for Pepsi-Cola. The light refreshment with the bold, clean taste. Generous in flavor and sparkle. Pepsi belongs to your generation. Why else would Pepsi try so hard to be where you are? Everywhere. Come alive. You're in the Pepsi generation. My being out of the black Muslim movement, on the part of the black Muslims themselves. And I had uh, stated in a newspaper article about an effort to take my life back in January, and at that time the Muslims denied it. In fact, they tried to make it appear to my brother that I was in pain. But on a program in Chicago called Hotline, that's moder moderated by Wesley South, John Ali, the national secretary, admitted. Uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, one of these days last week, that they absolutely were going to kill me. Why are they threatening your life? Well, uh, primarily because they're afraid that I will tell the real reason that they've been, that I'm out of the black Muslim movement, which I never told. I kept to myself. But the real, real reason is that Elijah Muhammad, the head of the movement, is the father of eight children by six different teenage girls, different, uh, six different teenage girls who were his private personal secretary. Uh, four of them had one child apiece by him. Uh, two of them had two children, and one of those two is pregnant right now in Los Angeles, uh, where they're his th uh, third child. And uh, the, the one who first made me aware of this was Wallace Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad's son. And it was uh, their fear that uh, if I remained in the black Muslim movement, and this came into the knowledge, Hot dogs, armor hot dogs. What kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? Fat kids, skinny kids, kids who climb on rocks. Cut kids, sexy kids. Even kids with chicken pox love hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. Hot dogs, kids love to fight. This is the 11 p.m. report on the leading news stories of the day in Washington and around the world. This portion brought to you by the humble oil and refining company, America's leading energy company, and your S.O. dealer. Good evening, this is Don Allen standing in for Tony Sylvester, who is in Texas with the presidential party. The United States ran into one of its most disappointing space failures today. The historic Gemini 6 rendezvous shot had to be called off because the target rocket fizzled out. It was a complicated countdown, but it went off without a hitch. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. It's holding momentarily at 4. We have ignition. And a liftoff right on the button. Right on the hour. The launch was going perfectly at the outset, and the count for the Gemini Titan, scheduled to go about an hour and 40 minutes later, continued uninterrupted. And then, six minutes into the flight of the Agena, when the target vehicle was supposed to take power from the Atlas, there was what a spokesman called a dramatic loss of telemetry. No one was certain whether there was a malfunction aboard the Agena or the vehicle had blown itself to bits. For nearly one hour, the count on Gemini, still on its launch pad, continued. Astronauts Walter Schirau and Thomas Stafford still awaited atop the Titan rocket. And then, 54 minutes into the Agena flight, the Manned Spacecraft Center in Houston made the decision to scrub the mission. Astronauts Stafford and Shira were taken out of the Gemini capsule, and preparations got underway for the launching of Gemini 7, a 14-day flight originally scheduled for December, but which now may be moved up closer to Thanksgiving. The Gemini 6 mission, the most important flight to date,